So, hello guys. Part four, and in today's part four, we're gonna talk about payments. One of the crucial setups when setting up an Centipede account, which payment gateway should you choose as a user? So in today's video, let's talk about it. When you have created a new account, the money that's normally automated via our system, let's say when a PPPOE client pays or a hotspot client pays, Centipede needs to know where it will send the funds to. How now will Centipede know? You'll have to have set your payment gateway. So in today's video, I'll go to detailed what this section does. We normally have a variety of payment set gateways already preloaded in the system. But if you are in a country that does not have your payment gateway, you can request for that payment gateway. Just come here, request for that payment gateway, set the name of the payment gateway, the gateway documentation URL, and the reason. That if your payment gateway is not integrated in our system. Let's look at a variety of the payment gateway already integrated on the Centipede system. This payment gateway, I will go detail by detail by detail so that you can understand everything on payments. Let's start with M-Pesa pay bill stroke till number with API keys. This one applies for Kenyan citizens. This pay bill or till with APIs means you have to have a Daraja account. So for Daraja, this for you to create a pay bill, an M-Pesa pay bill or an M-Pesa till, you need to go and apply for an M-Pesa pay bill or a till with the following credentials. This is what you need. You need a business document, the one that I'm actually uh, writing on the screen. You need a business document. You need your KRA pin. You need a bank letter from your bank stating that you own the account. And then you will need your ID, your identification, uh, your ID number, your ID card, sorry for that. Take those requirements, go to Safaricom. These are, these are some forms that you will fill. After all those forms are filled, now that's when your account will be created. When your account is created, you will receive an email from Safaricom. Your email will state your M-Pesa user account, like for mine, we've got enterprise, is this, has been created. It will give me my username and my password. That's upon creation of your pay bill or till. Once this is done, you will have now to log in into Daraja. Come to Safaricom. So I'll have just to log in into my Daraja account. Let me just look for it. That is Daraja. Come to developers.safaricom.co.ke and create an account at Daraja 2.0. Just click here to log in. So if you don't have an account, click here to sign up for an account. But for me, I have an account with Daraja. I'll have to refresh this. I'm sorry. I'll have an account, so I'll have to fill this one with my details. And then I'll log in now to my Daraja account. Now, when you have logged in into your Daraja account, we need to get this. An M-Pesa short code, an M-Pesa pass key, an M-Pesa consumer key, and a consumer secret. You can click get to get credentials, but by just clicking here, it will actually bring you to the Daraja page. Or you can go to safaricom, developers.safaricom.co.ke. After you are here, it will actually give you, let me just uh, get started. It will actually bring you to this page. 
you need to go to navigate to go live you need to go live here your short code is the one that was provided in the email you see this email this is your short code 4148 for my case is 4148495 just come and paste it here so no sorry for that so just come here pick short code then come and fill that short code over here then organization name organization name is wavecore this wavecore enterprise come and fill it over here mpesa username is this one that was provided your username is this one come copy that username and paste it over here then accept the terms click next next and then you will go live when you have successfully gone live let me just you will get your passkey as you can see the short code is this one and you'll get the passkey this passkey is the one that will come and paste it here mpesa passkey as you can see here so let me just copy mine then i come and paste this passkey over here that's we'll get now now you'll get your passkey now we need to retrieve our mpesa short code this short code already has been provided through the email this is the mpesa short code let me just copy that then come and paste this short code over here then your payment method it's on pay bill so here you'll be prompted to set your pay bill so in most cases the mpesa short code and pay bill are normally the same you can see here the pay bill and the short code then we need now to get a consumer key and this consumer secret so when you go live navigate here to my apps when you go to my apps come here leave alone sandbox let's go to the one that actually went live then come and copy the consumer key this is the consumer key come and copy this consumer key and then come and copy this consumer secret paste it here and here so i'll just do that for mine i'll just copy my consumer key then i'll come and copy my consumer secret then i click save changes the same same procedure will happen when you're setting up a till number with api that's how you that's how simple it is to do this the norm, the difficult part of this payment gateway is normally getting the requirement because you need a business document it's just requiring those requirements and then after that after safaricom has actually sent the email you are good to go this is the best method in ctp that i prefer because your funds will not catch any of pay of ctp payments gateway it normally comes directly to your account this is the best and this is the one that i use for all my accounts you never have problems with any payment issues when you're using your own api keys that's on the mpesa until number api keys now let's talk about copo copo the same same procedure apply for a copo copo get their uh, copo copo till copo copo will provide you with the till number stk till number your client id your client secret and the api key then just save the changes i don't have a copo copo account but if i get it i'll actually provide i'll actually show the procedure in a future video now let's talk about bank accounts for this if you have a bank account number you have an account number 
You can just come, paste here the pay bill for that bank, and here just says the account number. But if you have a bank business pay bill, you can just come paste it here and also paste here the account number. But for this one, this payment gate, as you can see here, is subjected to a 1% transaction cost because your funds are being processed by the centipede gateway. That's why it's normally imposed a 1% transaction cost. Now, no, this one, when a client pays, it will read centipede, but the funds years will be uh, deposited into your account, but they will have fast pass through centipede, which centipede will impose a 1% transaction cost. That's when you're using the bank account. It's normally direct. Normally, it does not come to account. It's normally direct when a client pays which will actually be deposited into your account. But that money will be subjected to a 1% transaction cost. Let's talk about pay bill with API, without API. So if you, you see a hassle to get all these, the API keys, you can use pay bill without API. Just come paste here your pay bill. But also note this one will be subjected to a 1% transaction charge. And this one does not require any API. Also the same for a TIL. Also it will be subjected to a 1% transaction charge. And there is no need to have APIs for this. This one, all the transactions will read centipede. But will be deposited onto your accounts instantly. We don't hold money from our end. Then we have some few. We have Paystack integration, and recently we, installed, we introduced PaySapal. So if you need here for Paystack, you need just to paste your Paystack secret key and your Paystack public key. So these one are for countries like UG, Uganda, and also for this one, we have PaySapal, where just paste, you paste your consumer key and the consumer secret. That's on the payment section. So if you have any question, maybe there's something that I missed, kindly put a comment in the comment section below. And I'll gladly, gladly, gladly answer the question. So till next time, guys, let's wait for part five. Part five, we will now start dissecting now this section over here. Till next time, guys. Adios.